Hello and welcome back to our channel. This video is a tutorial on Bitwarden. We are going to show you everything about Bitwarden, including how to create an account, how to set up your account, and how to store sensitive information in your vault. So watch this video till the end to better understand Bitwarden Vault. Let's begin with a small introduction. Bitwarden is a free and open source password management service that stores sensitive information such as website credentials, card details, identity card, or even any personal notes in an encrypted vault. Bitwarden Vault has three important features. Number one, it is easy and fast to set up for both individuals and businesses. Number two, it is convenient, which means it can store unlimited passwords across unlimited devices. And lastly, it is secure. You can store what's important to you, whether it is login information, card details, identity details, or any other important information. Now let's get started. To create an account, click on the Get Started button on the top right corner. You will be redirected to the sign up page. Here, enter your email address, enter your name here, create a master password for your vault. But remember that the master password is the password you use to access your vault. It is very important that you do not forget your master password because there is no way to recover the password in the event that you forget it. Now retype your master password here and enter a master password hint here. This is optional. If you don't want to add any hint, just leave it blank. Tick the Terms of Service and Privacy Policy box and finally click on the Submit button. After successfully creating your account and email verification, you will be redirected to the dashboard. Here on the top, you will see four buttons, Volts, Send, Tools and Reports. In the left sidebar, you can use these filters to find across your stored passwords easily. On the top right corner, click on the icon and you will see your name first, then Account Settings, Get Help, Get the Apps, Lock Now and lastly the Logout button. Click on Account Settings to go to the Settings page. Under the Account Settings in the left sidebar, you will see different tabs like My Account, Security, Preferences, Subscription, Domain Rules and lastly Emergency Access. Under the My Account tab, click here to change your name and click here to add the master password hint. Simply enter it and click on the Save button. Here you can see your account's fingerprint phrase. Your account's fingerprint phrase is permanent and composed of five random English words that appear in a specific order. From here, you can also change your email address, enter your master password here, and then your new email ID here, and then click on the continue button. Scroll down and in the last, you will see the danger zone section. You can use these options to deauthorize sessions, purge vault, and to delete your account. But before clicking on any of these options, be sure that you want to continue with it because these actions can't be reversed. Click on the security tab under the master password tab and from here you can change your master password. Enter your current master password here, then enter the new master password here, confirm the master password and then click on the change master password button. From the two-step login tab, you can activate the two-step login for your account to add an extra layer of security to your vault. Scroll down and in the last of the providers section, click on the manage button next to the email option. Follow the steps to activate a two-step login. Now click on the subscription tab. From here, you can upgrade your free membership plan to the premium plan, which is at just $10 per year. Scroll down and enter your card details and then click on the Submit button. Now click on the Volts tab. You will be taken to your Volt dashboard. In the left sidebar, click the plus icon under the Folders section to create a folder. In the pop-up window, enter a name here. We are entering social media and click on the Save button. Your folder will be created 
and added under the folder section in the left sidebar. Now let's see how you can store your login information, card details, identity information and any secure note. Click on the add item button under the vault items section. A pop-up window will open. Select the type of information that you want to store from this drop-down menu. Let's first continue with login. Here enter the name for the login information that will help you to easily recognize it. Select the folder from this drop-down. All the folders that you have already created will be shown here. We are selecting social media. Enter your Facebook username in this box. We are using a dummy text. Enter your Facebook password here. Now enter the URL of Facebook which is www.facebook.com. In the match destination box, leave the default selected. Here you can use notes for your login information. Like we are entering here, we are using dummy login information. And finally click on the save button. Your Facebook login information will be stored in the vault and you can see it here. Now let's see how you can store any card information in this vault. Again, click on the add item button and in the pop-up window select the card from the drop-down of the type of item. For demonstration purposes, we are using only the dummy information here. Here enter a name for your card like your bank name. Select the folder in which you want to store it or leave it unselected. Here enter your name as mentioned on the card. From here select the brand of your card like Visa, Mastercard, American Express or any other. Enter your card number here. Select the expiry month from this drop down menu. Enter the card expiry year in this box. Here enter the security code or CVV. Enter any notes here or leave it blank and finally click on the save button. Now your card information will be stored in the vault and you can see it here. Now let's try to add the identity information. Again click on the add item button and a pop-up window will appear. Select identity from the type of item drop down. Here enter the name for your identity. Here select the folder or leave it as it is. Then select your title, enter your first name, middle name and last name. Fill in all the required information in the boxes according to your identity type. Scroll down and enter any notes if needed and finally just click on the save button. Now your identity information will be stored in the vault and you can see it here. Let's demonstrate the last item here and that is the security note. Again, click on add item. In the pop-up window, select security note from the type of item drop-down. Here enter the name for it, select folder or leave it as it is and enter your notes here. Finally, click on the save button and now you can see that your security note is added in the vault. Here you can see all the items that we have stored like bank card, Facebook login detail, secure note and identity card information. And that completes this in-depth tutorial on how to create a Bitwarden account, how to set up your account and how to add items in your vault. This brings this video to an end. We truly hoped it has increased your understanding about Bitwarden Vault. If you have any suggestions and want us to make a video on a specific topic, feel free to comment them below. And for more such videos, make sure to stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.